This is it, the moment of truth for Proposition 8. In just a matter of days, the Supreme Court of the United States will meet to consider hearing Avery's case against Prop 8. There are a number of different possible outcomes, so let's take a minute to talk about what's going to happen and when. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to a special episode of Marriage News Watch. First, a few basics. Prop 8 passed in 2008 by a narrow margin, changing the California state constitution and taking away the freedom to marry from committed gay and lesbian couples. In response, AFER sued the state in federal court, pointing out that there is no rational basis for Prop 8, and that the law now denies Californians equal protection under the law. And we won. Twice. First at the District Court in 2010, and then at the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in 2012. Both courts agreed that Prop 8 violates the United States Constitution and should be struck down. But even though we won, the law will remain in place until the proponents can exhaust their opportunities to be reheard. And now they're down to that last opportunity for rehearing, the Supreme Court of the United States. Here's what happens next. The justices will meet on Monday, September 24th, to discuss all of the cases before them. At that meeting, they'll choose some of the cases that they'll hear in their upcoming term, which will run from November of this year to June of 2013. Other cases, they'll decide not to hear. If they decide to take our case, they'll announce it in a list that's released on Tuesday, September 25th. Then we'll file briefs, have oral arguments, and get a decision from the court no later than June. If we're not on the list, it means one of two things. Either they're not going to rehear our case, or they're simply holding off on making a decision until later. If they've rejected the petition to hear our case, they'll announce that on the following Monday, October 1st. In that case, our previous victory will be the final decisive word. In other words, Prop 8 will be gone forever, and marriages can start back up again in California. So there you have it. It's taken a while to get here, but we're finally approaching the end of the case. Visit AFER.org to stay up to date and to learn how you can help support the freedom to marry. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching.